morning. Uh, Mike, good morning. Thank you so <laughs> much uh, for joining us. Now, let's talk about this golf tournament first of all. Uh, you are a big patron for uh, Cure Parkinson's, of course. We just heard Lorraine speak. We're going to be hearing from Michael J. Fox later, a long time Parkinson's sufferer. And we met, of course, through this as well because I sadly lost my mum to the disease. Such an important work that you do, highlighting uh, the, the charity and the work that you do. Tell us about the event and what you're hoping to achieve today. Um, well, yeah, well, good morning. Um, I won't say I'm feeling f the freshest to say <laughs> today. We always have a little bit of a, a fun evening on the Thursday. But, um, uh, no, look, I, you know, we're in our 10th year. This is our 10th anniversary. You know, we've managed to raise over 1.2 million over the last 10 years, which is, is just fantastic. Yeah, as you say, my dad's had Parkinson's for 10, uh, 20 years. Um, it's, it's a disease that is never going to get better, or a condition that's never going to get better. He's always struggling. Um, and then along with Matt Hampson, who we also raise money for, uh, I try and keep uh, my charity endeavours to something that's really close to the heart. And obviously with Matt and, and rugby, and you know, you're only one bad tackle away from an accident that you can't come back from. And it's always nice to know when there's someone out there who will uh, who'll help you with that recovery. And uh, look, I think we're in a very privileged position that if you can give back and you can try and raise awareness, raise funds, then, uh, then you have to do it. And, and that's all I try and do. I mean, you, you celebrate this and you've talked to us about it before and it does raise huge amounts of money and awareness. And one of the highlights is often what you're wearing below where the camera can see you now. Um, you often have a rather spectacular pair of shorts on. Do you want to show us what your offering is? Uh, the, oh, that's before. There's some lovely ones before. Hey, uh, no. oh, oh, hello. OK, OK. That's a rather nice sort of yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not, jungle theme. I think, I've, I think I'm quite reserved today, actually, in the shorts. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm quite reserved. Like, I haven't seen the sun in a long time, so I'm not entirely sure whether the shorts are whiter than my legs. But, um, <laughs> yeah, we, uh, it's, it's always... <laughs> we always try and have a little bit of fun and we always try and make sure that, you know, in, in some ways, when, when you're fundraising, you've always got to have a little bit of fun with it and see and see where it takes you. And we try and do that. I think we do that quite well. I think you, that's you, the most you important get, part. You, we try and make uh, what I try. Uh, uh, do you get Zara's fashion advice before you choose these shorts? Do you speak to Zara and say, "Listen, Zara, what do you think of these?" Or not? No, uh, no. Basically, she won't speak to me for a week after all my my choices in fashion. So uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's more about redemption afterwards. <laughs> well, you, yeah, you look great. She's, she's, she's standing next to a very vibrant pair of shorts there, so she obviously forgives you a little bit along the way. Uh, well, you both look fabulous at the coronation and indeed at the Sunday concert as well. Uh, you mentioned that last night was a little bit of a, a party night. Um, first of all, you had a late night before the coronation, didn't you? I mean, that speaks of royal confidence to me, that before <laughs> the coronation, you went out for dinner with a group of other members of the royal family, and then you two carried on. Um, well, it was quite nice to have a little date night. You know, sometimes yeah, it's the, when you've got three uh, yeah. children, it's not always the easiest to get out and just have a drink together. So it was quite nice to be uh, to have a little bit of uh, time where we could just go out and have a drink and have a chat. And it was it was it was quite nice. So uh, normally, I definitely Mike, don't regret that. It was it was. Yeah, but Mike, the night goes late and everyone goes. Oh, what have we got on tomorrow? Have I got any meetings tomorrow? What have we got on? Should we have another drink? You went. What's going? Oh, Charles is having his coronation. Come on, we can stay out a bit later. I mean, you, you must have had that conversation and thought, no, we're going we're gonna to still, still party for a bit longer. Adult, never worry about what's tomorrow. Enjoy the moment and then <laughs> you, can deal with, you can deal with the next day later. Well, talking of partying, let's have a quick look at that dancing at the, uh, at the concert. Let's have a look at it. You two were getting down. We did <laughs> some do scoring the, do earlier do the in the week. With it? That's yeah, it, that's, that's the one. That there was it, you that go. was it. Where is it? Have we got it here? Oh, no, we no, haven't got it. I uh, oh, we had it. We had it earlier. Uh, you looked incredible. You stole the show from Lionel Richie. Don't, don't, like don't worry. Don't <laughs> worry. Don't worry. You know, um, I just felt you know it's very difficult when you're on a you're on a raised platform that's under a lot of lights. So I, I felt I, di I didn't really put my best foot forward in terms of 
But it, then if, if you started doing uh, interesting dance manoeuvres on, on that platform uh, next to the King, I, I'm not entirely sure it would have gone down that well. So, <laughs> you, you know, you, uh, as Hitch once said in, in the movie, you've got to stay, stay in your safe zone, yeah? Uh, and my flag waving was, Mike, uh, you know, Mike, I, I tried you, to Mike be Tindall, the best you're, flag waver out there. Uh, Mike Tindall, you're an absolute legend, uh, both for your role in the royal family and what you do for the Parkinson's charity at Cure Parkinson's. Thank you so much uh, and good luck today. Thanks for joining us, Mike Tindall. No, it's... Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks for having me. Good okay. to speak to Mike uh, as always.